So let's start our new project by making a real Houdini project. And for this, I go here to the file menu. Here I find new project. And I want to have here now a new project. What is a project inside of Houdini? A project inside of Houdini is only a folder structure. So you can make your folder structure by hand if you like. But this here is a really nice template of this folder structure here, which I want to use. And if you like, you can add your own project folders. And this is something I want to do. I want to have here two other project folders in my structure. One is for my reference images and one is for the stuff I bring from Houdini to other external applications, for example, Substance Painter in this case. And then we have to name our project here. So let's name it. Let's say this is Tutorial Toothbrush. And then we have to decide where we want to have the path. Normally, I store all my Houdini projects here under Dollar Home Houdini Projects because this is my fastest drive I have here with my machine. But if you want, you can place it somewhere else. And this is exactly what I want to do for this tutorial so that I can pack it later and give it to you on my Patreon page. So let's go here to desktop into my project folder. And here I have a folder Houdini projects where I want to place it. And this structure here is empty. Now I want to place the whole Houdini project structure here. But sometimes it's happening that if you click here now, accept and you have changed this path, you can't leave this dialog anymore. It's a bug, I think. But to go around this bug, what you can do is you can add here a character under file here. For example, I see and I click accept and then you see I can really leave this dialog. And the next thing I do here now is I remove this character here. So now the path is set here and everything is fine. And the moment I click accept, Houdini will now generate all the folder structures for you. But there are no hidden files, like for example, in other applications like Maya or so. This is only a folder structure. So the question arises, why do you want to have a project structure like this? The answer is variables. You see here that Houdini is generating a dollar job variable here. And we will use later this dollar job variable in all our paths which we generate in file nodes or file cache nodes when we reference textures and so on. Because if you use this variable, you can later pack your whole project together and move it to another machine, for example, or you can archive it, or you can bring it to render farm. So it's a good habit not to use a path which is really dependent on your folder structure on your hard drive. So dollar job is later the helper for us. We click accept. And it seems now that nothing has happened. But if you look here to the status line, you see that the dollar job variable is set. And you also can check it here under edit. If you go here to edit aliases and variables, you can go here to the variables. And here is the dollar job variable. And if you like, you also can change now this path here by hand later if you have the need that you move a project and so on. But in our case, it's okay. If you now want to save a file, we can do it. So let's save this empty file here. And if you now go to dollar job here on the left side, you will be automatically placed here inside of your new structure. And here we save our hip file. Side note, there's no subfolder for the hip files. Normally you place your hip files here in the root level of your project. So let's do that. This is our step 01. I click accept and now I am ready to go and everything is fine. What if I go back to a project? So you closed your project, you closed your Houdini, you come back now the next day to your desk and now you want to work again in your project. How does it work? For this, we have here under file a set project option. And if you click that, you can now walk on your hard drive here for example, I can go in my original Houdini project. So I go in here and say, I want to have the banana project, for example, here. And if you double click here, you go into this folder structure. And if you see all the subfolders here, then you click accept. Then you have set your dollar job variable to this project and then you work in this project. So don't forget that. Now a case, we want to make sure 
that this structure is really the project we want to work in. So we play the same game like we play every morning. If we come back to the desk, I go to the desktop, I go here to my toothbrush project, Houdini projects. Here is the project name which we've given the project. I dive into that. Here's the structure and now I click accept. And if now everything is right, you can check it here under variables. Yeah, now we are back in the right project. That's the normal steps you go. Let's do the next step. We want to load a reference image, only that we have a little bit of inspiration what we want to do. We have done this in the banana project, so we can switch here to the image context or the compositing networks. I dive into this comp. And we also can switch here to the composite view so that we have a viewer for that. I add a file note here. And if you add a file note here and the display flag sits here, you see now this butterfly. This is the picture we have here. Now we need some images which we want to see. So let's switch over to my desktop. And here on my desktop, I've collected some images for you. So let's go here to, let's say, files. And here we have some reference files, which I collected for the brushes and also for the glass. And what we can do now is I copy all these images over into our Houdini project. And here's the reference folder, which I created. So paste them here. And another thing which I want to copy is here this HDRI, which I want to use later. I normally place them here in my text folder. And here I make a subfolder, new folder, for example, for an for environment. So that's it. So everything is done. I can switch back now to Houdini. Now we load here from our structure. And if you want to make sure that you now set the link correctly, and this is the most important step if you work in a project. If you now look here, so let's do it together. I go here to file, I go to load. And if you now look here, you see this here comes from my home directory and then it goes to desktop, blah, 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 blah. And this will make problem later in production because if you then move your project over to another artist, this path will break. To make sure now that this path will not break, I click now first on dollar job. Some people tend to click here on $hip, which is the place where the hip file is placed. It's also okay, it's inside of your project, but I tend to use $job. So I click here and now you see look in $job and then we have our structure. Then I go here now to where it is, the yeah, references, here, references. And now I can load this image and now you see this is now the path which is stored later in the zip file. And this will always work because if you set your project correctly, this here is then the full path. You can check this by middle mouse button click here on file and then you see a path. This is a path which you can't change. It's only a print of this variable, but it's good to check if the path here is correct and you see yeah it is. So middle mouse button click again to come back now here. I save now this file. This is the thing we want to do. And in the next lesson, we want now to start to model this glass here. See you in the next lesson.